and happy Valentine's Day. And it's actually the day before Valentine's Day, but you will be seeing it on Valentine's Day. And today I have a super special vlog for you. I'm gonna be showing you some of the Valentines I'm gonna to give to my friends. And a Valentine's inspired scruff love that Moose Toys sent me. So thank you so much to Moose Toys. And I'm also going to show you on what I'm planning to give my crush. I hope he likes it. show you guys what I made last week in girls group. We made this little poster and mine says choose kind and I did a whole bunch of colors and at the bottom I kind of did like, I don't really know what they are but I thought it looked pretty cute and they're kind of messed up because the green was showing through so I'm like oh now I need to go back and paint it with more white and then it kind of got messy so. <laughs> and we actually made these for pink shirt day which is a day when we have no bullying and our school tolerates no bullying at all. So anytime there's a bully, our school deals with it right away. So pink shirt day is where we wear lots of pink. And then the coolest part is we have an assembly. And then actually the kids who are wearing the most pink from each class, they get to go up and they'll get like a chocolate or something really cute. So this year I'm hoping I can win because I haven't won all the years I've been at my school, but that's okay. And I thought this was a great message because it's choose kind because you don't want to choose being a bully or mean. And leave me a comment down below if you guys have a no bully day or a pink shirt day just like me. All right, now moving on to my Valentines. So this year I've decided I don't wanna be so wasteful and just keep buying new Valentines. So I actually have a whole bunch from previous years. So I thought I'd use them up because I still love them. It's not like I'm like not digging it. So I'm like, mm, okay, I'm not a big fan of it, but I still love all the ones I have. So there's no point on wasting them when you can use them. Leave me a comment down below. Do you guys like to store buy yours or do you like to make yours? I've actually made mine in the past and then for the last few years, I've been store buying them. So the first one I have is puppies. This is all the different kinds that I can give. Look at how cute they are. And so these are cards that come with little stamps. So there's a whole bunch of different puppies. And then I have a whole bunch of stickers down here that I just used to decorate the envelope. I have some peanuts and this comes with 16 pencils and 16 valentines. And these are the ones you can get. And at first I didn't know what they are, so this is my first time seeing what they are too. Oh, I love that one. I was looking on the back and it said, Be My Sweet Babu. It's with Charlie Brown's little sister. It has Sally and Linus on it. It's so cute. And then here is my favorite one. I have a whole bunch of vintage valentines. Look at all of them, they're so cool. And then this is my favorite part. On most of them, they're velvety, so they're super soft. My favorite one is this little kitty. She looks so cute. Or maybe it's a heat. I don't know. And the coolest thing is my grandma used to hand out vintage Valentine's when she was her age. So every year, I'll pick one that I think she'd like, and then I'll send it to her because she thinks it's really cool that I'm sending her vintage Valentine's that she used to use. So I have a lot of work to do so I can get these Valentines ready for school tomorrow. And I also picked out something for my besties. I got this for one of my besties. It's this little orbs ball and it's a little kitty that is a mermaid. So I thought she would really like it. And then for my other friend, I got her this little Pegasus because it does have these super tiny wings in the back. And look at how soft they are. I know it's kind of crinkly, but it's actually really soft. So I hope that they like those. And then we have this thing at school. Every year we've had a Valentine's Day party and we used to watch movies and I'm kind of sad about this because we're gonna do games and activities. And I really like the movie, but I'm sure the games and activities will be just as fun. And this year we're doing something new. We're having a treat exchange. So I bought rockets and I'm maybe gonna do like four of them. So how this works is I'll take in my four rockets and all together I have eight. So I keep four and then I give one to someone else, my four rockets. And they keep, let's say they had a cupcake. They give one to me and keep one. 
so we'd exchange treats, eat our treats, and open our Valentine's, so I can't wait. And this is the first year we're doing it, so I'm excited to see how it works. The only thing I'm sad about is our teachers picking our partners, so I can't pick my BFFs. But I'm sure I'll be happy with whoever I get. Although I picked rockets because I love rockets. They're one of my favorite candies. And leave me a comment down below. Do you guys have any Valentine's Day celebrations and or parties? If you do, leave a comment down below. Or maybe you have the same as me. That would be kind of cool. And the thing I'm most nervous about is giving this to my crush. I really hope he likes it. I picked up the kitty because he actually has a cat. So I thought it would be kind of perfect. And why I'm nervous about this is because I made him a special card too. So like, I'm not afraid to give it to him, but I'm just afraid if he maybe rejects me and doesn't like me back. Because I'm kind of putting myself out there. Fingers crossed. I'm kind of scared to get rejected. And I'd love to know if you guys are too, because that would make me feel a little bit better because I kind of feel like I'm the only one, even though I'm pretty sure I'm not. Although why I want to do this and not hold back is because once I had a crush and sometimes their friends would ask me, do you like them? And I'd say no. So now I've just drifted away from this friend because we're friends now. And it's probably because his friends were getting back to him and saying, no, she doesn't like you. And now that I think about that, that makes me feel pretty bad. And I just want to let you guys know if you're doing that, you shouldn't say no. And if you don't want to be like downright, yes, I like them, you can say, um, it's personal information. I don't want to share that because then you're not saying yes and then you're not saying no And then if it does get back to them, you're not going to break their heart Because I did that and I feel pretty bad about it And especially because I did like that person and I was just embarrassed like then, you know They're gonna sing K-I-S-S-I-N-G and I found that embarrassing when I should have because really it's just how you feel about someone and my mom tells me i should never be ashamed of how i feel or of how i care about someone because really there's nothing to hide it's not bad on how you feel and i even agree on that and i look back to when i was in grade two and i'm thinking gosh i wish i didn't make those mistakes so let me know if that makes sense to you and if you've gone through that too and then you end up heartbroken yourself all right, enough about crush talk because I'm already kind of nervous about it. And we're going to move on to scruffle loves. And I actually have been wanting one of these for such a long time. And on the front it says, be my Valentine. And then there's actually a little place right here. So it's like you could put Valentines in there. So that's super cute. Imagine if you got a box full, that would be a lot of Valentines. And thank you so much again to Moose Toys for sending me this because I've actually been wanting one for a pretty long time. So I'm super happy. And this is also a special one because it's meant for Valentine's Day. All right, let's open it up. So the first thing I see here is there's this little card and it says to Little Monkey Media from Moose. And then it actually has these little hearts and they're candies. And then we have our Scruffalo. And then on the back we have all the instructions. It says wash, reveal, dry and groom. I'm so excited to see who we get. I think it might be a purple one because the whole package is purple. Look at this cool, like, confetti stuff. It's so satisfying. Oh, that sounds so cool. So we have the brand new lilac color. Each set contains a plush character that we're going to rescue, a brush, a collar with a tag, a hair clip, and an adoption certificate. And our little hearts. They say, who will you rescue or scruff a love? And I think I'm gonna try one of these. I don't know which, I, which one I should try. I think I'm gonna do the purple because it's kind of the same color as her case. Ooh, I got one that says scruff a love. Mm, so good. You know, maybe just one more. Mm. They actually have different flavors. 
the purple one's kind of like a grapey flavor. And then the pink one is my big. It's kind of like this strawberry raspberry flavor. All right, it's time to open it up. Oh, look at it. Wait, are those bunny ears? I hope we maybe got the limited edition bunny. It's so cute. This needs a lot of love. We have its adoption certificate. I'm trying to be really careful because I don't want to rip any of the paper. Here we go. Here's our adoption certificate. And then we have all her stuff. We have our clip. I love the pink. Oh, look, we have a heart hairbrush. And then we have our collar. And I'm gonna have to think about what we should name this while I'm washing it up. I'm almost thinking of naming it Cherry. I know it's not red or pink, but I just feel like it kind of looks like a cherry to me. I don't know yet. Uh, it looks like it needs so much care and help. And it reminds me of my dog Sadie. And if you don't know who Sadie is, she's actually been in my other vlog video. So if you haven't seen it, make sure you go check it out. But it reminds me of her because my parents told me the story of how they got Sadie. And she was actually a rescue dog. And this is our rescue pet. And my mom said that the minute she got to the adoption place, she looked at Sadie and Sadie had that happy tail and those glimmering eyes. And she said that she just couldn't look away from Sadie. So that was really nice. So once we got Sadie, well, my parents, we had to give her lots of love because she wasn't treated very nice from the other owners that she had before. So we gave her lots of love, just like we're going to do with our little pet here. Let's go take this little scruffle up to the sink and see who we rescued. All right, so we're going to wash our little pet here, which I think is a bunny. So we're gonna wash our little bunny here. And what we're going to do, it had a tip on it that said, if we wash it two times through with like soap, that it will increase the chance of it being fluffier. So we're gonna repeat that. And I'm putting it in warm water so it's nice and cozy. All right, I'm gonna start by soaking it and then I'll lather it up with soap. Whoa, it's so soft now. Add some soap and lather it up. Oh, look at how fluffy it is back here. All right, that's good. So my bunny's gonna go right there, and then we gotta get some soap. All right, time to get some soap on. All right, time to lather it up, and then we gotta wash our bunny. Can't forget the ears. Oh, it's going to smell so yummy because the soap is scented like flowers. All right, we're going to rinse her up, re-lather her, and then repeat the process. she is. All right, now it's time to dry her off. Gotta make sure she's all warm. Oh, she's so cute. I love her. Gotta dry off her head. We don't want her ears to be freezing. Gotta dry off her ears there. All right, well, now we gotta blow dry her because we want her to be extra dry. it said for super speedy drying we can put her in the spin cycle so we'll get out as much water as possible and I hope she's okay I don't want it to hurt her so we're gonna put her in this protective bag we don't want our little bunny to get hurt all right here we go all right she's looking pretty fluffy but now we need a groomer and then she'll be so fluffy and soft. I just gotta keep brushing her until she's really fluffy. And it actually works if you put her in the spin cycle because she's pretty dry now. 
Then we also put it in the dryer, but it doesn't say you can, but if you do, just make sure it's on a really low cycle so it's not too warm. You want it to be a little bit cooler. And then I actually found out what I'm gonna name her. I'm going to name this little one Cherry. And I stayed with the same name that I said because I really liked it and she looks so cute. I also thought of Lavender, but I'm staying with Cherry because she looks so cute like a little Cherry. All right, I'm gonna finish getting her all brushed up and then I'm gonna put her collar and bow on and then I'll show you what she looks like. OMG, look how fluffy she is. And I even wrote her name on her collar. It's Belle's Cherry and I put it in a neon pink. Aw, she's so snuggly. She's gonna make Valentine's Day extra special for me. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and that you have a awesome Valentine's Day. Bye, guys. See you next time. The end. Thanks for watching. To join all the fun up in our tree top, please subscribe to Little Monkey Media's channel. Don't forget, if you like our video, please share it and click like. We go back.